idea this morning, guys. We're gonna go ahead and test the old school, the gunfighter's round, the cap and ball. Weighs about 148 grains. Comes in at about .457. You can get these in 451. And I'm gonna be shooting this out of a replica 1858 Remington, as you guys see there. And I'm also gonna put my conversion cylinder in it and shoot a conversion round out of it and see what kind of results we get out of that. And we'll compare this to that Ruger Vaquero video that I did, old school. See what kind of damage the old school round did. We all see it in the movies. Let's see what really happens in jail, guys. Okay, guys, I got the 1858 loaded. Don't freak out, there's no cap on the nipple yet. Just letting you guys see with the ball down in there with a little bit of bore butter, sitting on 30 grains of black powder. We're gonna shoot it into that calibrated gel just to show old school to new school. Let's check it out. Hey guys, let's check out this cap and ball, 1858. Round ball, old school, compared to the new school. Let's check it out, guys. That was pretty dramatic, guys. I don't know if you guys seen that bounce out and hit the table right there. Let's see how far this wound track goes. Okay, guys, you can see point inventory right there. I was low in the gel. Looked like it was going in straight and then started angling down, angling down. Hit this second piece of gel, and I think that's when it bounced up out of the table. Bounced up off the table. Went in straight and started nose diving. You can see the rifling there as it went through. I'll go ahead and take a second shot. I don't believe it was me. I think the round just started doing its own thing once it hit the gel, but let's check it out again, guys. Okay, guys, let's try one more with this black powder and see if we can get a little bit different result. Or we get the same result. Let's check it out. Let's go take hey a look, guys. Here's a pretty good little side-by-side -side of what happened here. I guess I was a little angled on my shot. This is that first one. One in, went down, hit the table. So I might have been angled on that shot. Now remember, these, are, these aren't hollow points. These are ball rounds. Still getting a little bit of a ballistics channel there if you look down in there. Now here's the shot we just took. One in, and we believe it or not, we no hollow point, but we got a little bit of a ballistics channel here from about one inch. I'll have to cut this open. I don't know if you guys can see this. Down to about six inches, there's some trauma going on. Then the bullet starts to streamline, 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 and we're hanging on here. We're, I mean, we're running out of gel. Here we are at 22 and a half inches. Then it comes up and hits my backstop water jug, doesn't penetrate the jug, and comes to a stop. Didn't penetrate it. I found it lodged right there with that piece of paper is on that jug. You can see the scar lead mark that it made but it did not penetrate pretty wicked that go right through you pretty devastating really so what's going to be the better round that 14 and a, and a quarter new 225 grain bonded or the lead round that went right through you well back in the day that's pretty devastating wound channel and that's only 30 grains of black powder that's not today's propellant pretty wicked guys i'll get side cuts have a good one Okay guys, here's that first ball round that came out of that 1858 Remington. One in, you can see dropped some denim right there. Right about a half inch mark. One in, believe it or not, a little bit of a ballistics channel. You can see where it's definitely doing some damage. It's definitely rifling in, twirling in, and then it starts to angle down and that's where it went into that second piece down there and bounced up off the table. Now we go on to that second shot that I took. And you can see here, more of a streamlined shot. One in, dropping some of that denim. It's twirling in. It's causing a little bit more damage right here as it goes on down. And then this ended up passing through and hitting that jug. There's both the rounds, as you guys can see right there. And if you guys look close, you can see the denim marks where this smacked into the denim. Same as on this one here, and you can see the rifling where it went. 